Morning. <clears throat> this is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're having a fantastic day. <clears throat> Gold trading around 1739, right up against resistance, should be a key couple of days. I just want you to notice that the net speculative length from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission increased by 29 tons, and uh, open interest remains at a pretty low level which indicates there's not a lot of uh, confirmation to the upside here, but we felt safe that a 5 to 10% accumulation in this level was okay. Um, you know, <clears throat> a lot of what we're going to be talking about today involves three rare earth companies. Molly Corp we speak about very frequently, and today or tomorrow we're going to be putting out our uh, special report on Molly Corp Preferred A. But today we're going to be talking about rare element resources, Quest Rare Minerals and Avalon. Uh, Avalon, of course, <clears throat> has gotten a lot of play. Uh, Avalon symbol is AVL, trading on Toronto. Uh, Avalon has a significant amount of heavy rare earths in their concentrations. Uh, they're close to actually uh, being able to bring product to market in the next 6 to 12 months. Uh, Quest Rare Minerals. Uh, has its primary uh, location at Strange Lake in Quebec. Uh, and there, again, they have an even higher concentration of heavy rare earths uh, among the ore that they are working on. Uh, lastly, of course, rare element resources trading uh, on Toronto REX, excuse me, RES, RES, rare element resources. Uh, <clears throat> from a strategic standpoint, they're their situation is a little different because they have a lot more light rare earths rather than heavy. As I'm sure you recall, heavy rare earths are much more expensive than light rare earths because they're much rarer even than the regular rare earths. <clears throat> so uh, we're looking at these three companies today. Uh, we want to remind you that part of our new report is going to talk about smuggling out of China. Uh, and, uh, you know, Molly Corp proceeds apace. We have some questions about Molly Corp that you'll, you'll see in our new report. But basically, we see the uh, rare earth elements of uh, uh, mining in the consolidating phase. In other words, uh, mines are starting to go into production and ore is starting to be processed. The farthest away from being in production is, of course, Quest. Uh, both Avalon and I'm farthest away from production is rare element resources. Both Avalon and Quest are in various stages of further feasibility studies. Now, of course, uh, while we're not mining experts, we know banking feasibility studies are just that. Um, <clears throat> if the feasibility doesn't work, the project's not bankable. So keep that in mind if you decide to add to some of these uh, positions. Again, we like, we have historically liked the preferred in Molly Corp as an alternative to the common stock. Uh, as you know, the stocks had a real uh, quick up and a quick down, and uh, we're liking that 5.5%. But again, we've got some questions about the mandatory conversion, and we'll be getting into that uh, later. So <clears throat> those are three other ideas for you to think about for your investing in rare earths. Uh, we want to remind you that uh, the rare earths, of course, are a specialty of ours. So if you'd ever like to chat about those, please give me a call on 781-380-8888. We're located in Braintree, Massachusetts, so that's the eastern time zone in the United States. So please don't hesitate to give me a jingle. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Thanks.